Harry had a bit of a shaky start to his life. From a very young age, he was separated from his mother. He roamed the streets looking for her, but was unable to find her. He ate whatever he could find, but it was never great. One day, a kind lady found him on her way to the shops and decided to give him a new life. She picked up this dirty puppy and took him with her. Harry finally had a home. Unfortunately, the lady traveled a lot and was hardly ever at the house. So while Harry did have a home, he didn't really have a family. He was looked after by a neighbor, and while he was well fed and healthy, he was very lonely. He was so happy when she would come home, but would cry by the fence when she had to leave. This went on for some years, and Harry was feeling more and more rejected and alone. He became less friendly and would bark, and sometimes even growl at people. One day, the lady was finally able to settle down and Harry's life was about to change again. He went on his first trip on a plane. For a dog that was used to being alone on a quiet street, this was a terrifying experience. But Harry had no idea what was waiting for him at the end of this flight. When he got to his new home, he was greeted by lots of people, excited children, other dogs, and even cats. Talk about sensory overload. As you can expect, Harry was a bit overwhelmed and rather uncomfortable with the situation. He was not feeling sociable and would often hide in a corner away from all the action. It didn't really feel like life had improved, but Anna wasn't having any of it. If they were going to live together, he would be part of the family whether he liked it or not. She had time for Harry and was very patient. She cared for him and spent many hours with him every day. He was included in all the activities and began socializing with people and other dogs. Slowly, but very surely, Harry accepted that he was now part of a big and lively family and he was loved. In this family, no one is left behind. Sometimes Harry would stay in one house, sometimes in another, but all the faces were familiar. He was welcome everywhere and it never felt like he was being abandoned. Basically, everywhere was Harry's house now. It turned out that Harry was very happy to be loved. Soon he was playing with the children, other dogs, and even cuddling up with the cats. Harry also became a local celebrity. He could now be trusted to take himself for a walk and was quite frankly the only dog able to run around the local swans without an explosion of feathers. The owners of all the pubs and restaurants loved him and would often give him a treat. Life was good. Harry developed a very playful personality. One day, the builders came to fix the roof and Harry had some banter for them. If they were messy and left their tools out, he would gently remind them to be clean and tidy by stealing said tools and hiding them. The builders would look everywhere and even started questioning their own sanity. Eventually, the mystery was solved when the tools were found in a neat pile behind the sofa. The builders got the message. As the years went by, Harry's boundless energy was replaced by wisdom and stoicism. He started developing various aches and pains, and like any other proud old man, he wouldn't hear of going to a doctor or taking medication. Tricking Harry to go to the vet was hard enough, but tricking him to take his pain meds, well, that was a whole other level of impossible. People would wrap them up in the finest cheeses or meats, but somehow he always knew and would enjoy the gourmet treat before spitting out the pill. And while you could see him getting increasingly creaky and achy, he never made a sound, stoic and a gentleman till the very end. Yet more years went by, and Harry started finding the stairs an increasing challenge and eventually an impossibility. But try to help him and see what happens. This rickety old dog would suddenly spring into evasive maneuvers and the youngest of us couldn't catch him. He still wouldn't get up the stairs, but at least he would stay downstairs on his own terms. Harry managed to get to 17 before he closed his eyes for the last time. At this point, he had lost an eye and was really only using three and a half of his legs, but he still wouldn't take his pain meds. As they noticed his absence, the locals started asking about Harry. Even as an old man, he was still loved, still got free meals and would still be found chatting to the swans. Harry was the perfect example of how important family is. He showed how difficult it is to be alone, 
how much we all need to be part of something bigger than us, and how being surrounded by the people that love us can turn everything around.